the accession of King Charles has reignited a debate over whether the royal family deserves a global role in the 21st century. A legacy of empire and slavery intertwined with British royalty for centuries has raised difficult questions about the location of a foreign king, and Republican movements from the Pacific to North America and the Caribbean will assess whether they should seize the moment. Recent developments, particularly Barbados becoming a republic in 2021 and the removal of Queen Elizabeth as head of state, have also led to a crescendo that may now reach its climax. While there are strong Republican voices in Australia, New Zealand and Canada, it seems most likely that Jamaica will face the issue right away, especially since it could require a constitutional referendum to appoint the new king. On Friday, the main story on the front page of Gleaner, one of Jamaica's leading newspapers, said the Queen's death would make it easier for Jamaica to leave the monarchy. The Jamaican government announced last year that it plans to seek compensation from London for the estimated 600,000 Africans sent to the island for the financial benefit of British slaveholders. And a poll this summer found that more than half of Jamaicans say they want the Queen removed as head of state. The royal family has been trying to address Britain's bloody imperial past for decades. As prince, Charles attended the Barbados ceremony last year and delivered a conciliatory speech referring to the terrible atrocities of slavery that tainted British history forever. More than 10 million Africans were forced into the Atlantic slave trade by European countries, and those who survived the journey were chained in the Caribbean and the Americas. The broader Commonwealth of Nations, comprising of 56 countries of 2.5 billion people, will also face a showdown. The organization sought to democratize, for example, by declaring that its president is not a hereditary role. However, the fact that Charles was still elected by the bloc's leaders in 2018 has unsettled some countries. In Canberra, Parliament was suspended for 15 days, while the Sydney Opera House was lit in honor of the Queen. Still, hours after his death was announced, the long-running Republican debate was revived. I cannot mourn the leader of a racist empire built on stolen lives, lands and wealth of colonial peoples," said Green Party Senator Maureen Faruqi. In Vanuatu, which was ruled as a joint colonial outpost by the French and the British until it gained its independence 42 years ago from the Second World War, residents of the capital, Port Vila, expressed sadness at his death, but said the monarchy's importance had declined.